or what's up it's a girl Lacey and welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm bringing you the famous with Rio palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills you guys I've been dying to try this palette out because it's absolutely stunning just look at that shade range but it is absolutely stunning like oh Please mind my finger. I literally got my nails done like, last week and I was supposed to leave with my boyfriend and it snapped off. So now I'm gonna be feeling like, yeah, that's a problem, but just ignore that for now. It's a bit ratchet. But like I said, just ignore that. But before we move on to the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you want to become part of the Beauty Bird family. And give this video a big thumbs up if you like review videos because then it lets me know what you guys like. And comment down below what and what other makeup products you want me to try out because I love trying out new products. It's like my favorite thing ever. And if you want to be notified next time I upload a video, then hit the notification bell just above this video. But enough rambling on here and talking for a while, so let's just get right on to the video. Honestly, I'm trying to stay focused. To carve out my brows, I'm going to be taking the Morphe M224 brush with my P. Louise base in the shade Room 2. I just love using this base for any type of eyeshadow because it really helps any pigment really stick to your lids with. Uh, and increasing and just makes everything so much more pigmented than it actually is. Now I'm only going to do one eye now just because I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. I don't want to do something that crazy. I don't know if I want to do a halo eye or a cut crease yet. So I'm just going to do one eye just so that other eye doesn't crease while it's fading. So now that the eye is all pressed, I thought before I actually move on to eyeshadow, I might just give a little bit of detail about this palette. So this palette retails for $81 Australian money and it comes with 8 matte shades. So all of this row here is all matte and this white shade here is also matte and then it comes with 6 shimmer shades. And I thought I might just wash those for you, just so you have an idea what they look like. Okay, so mine, my bracelet, but this is Mediterranean. It's like a, it's kind of like a purpley, blue, grey undertone shimmer shade, it's really pretty. Then we got this yellow shimmer shade, which is called Inheritance, which is really pretty. These shimmer shades are also quite creamy, which is insane. The next shade I'm going to do is Seaside. This is a bit more on the grey slash silver side, which is also really pretty. Then we got Palerno, which is like a hot pink shimmer shade. Wow, that is pigmented. So the next shade is Seashells, which is like that pretty aqua colour I was telling you guys about. Like, are you kidding me? That's insane. It's so pretty. The next one I'm going to do is Yacht, which is like a brown foiled shade, which is really pretty. The next one I'm going to do is Sails, which is that white matte shade. I'm going to do that underneath my bracelet just so I don't mess up the swatches. It's a bit chalky, not gonna lie. But I reckon if you layer it up, it could be really pigmented. And that shade there is called Sails. The next one is Palm, which is like a nice brown shade. Next we have Canes, which is like a nice purple shade. And we have Monte Carlo, which is like a pastel pink shade. Then we have Bahamas, which is like a hot pink shade, which I'm very excited for. That's really pretty. Next we have Coastline, which is like a coral pastel shade. Then we have Cabana, which is like a mustard shade. Then we have Estate, which is like a really pastel nude shade, which you can barely see because it's like, I think that can be my skin tone. 
But yeah, I feel like the shimmer shades are really, really pigmented. I'm really impressed. But the mattes are a bit, a bit chalky, not as pigmented as I hoped. But let's just hope it works out on the eye. Now, I want to do a really colourful eye. So the first shade I'm going to go in is Kang the Kness. I'm not really too sure what it's called, but it's that purple shade right there. And I'm going to take this on a BH number 9 brush. And I'm just going to pack that into my crease. This purple is really pigmented. I'm already impressed. And just going around the edges, I'm just going to press on it just to diffuse the edges. So I'm going to put my next shade down and it makes it easier to blend. Now taking a Morphe M456 shade, I'm thinking about dipping into Bahamas, which is that bright hot pink shade right here. And I'm just going to use that to blend out canes. Oh my god, that is so pigmented. What the heck? I'm already impressed with the pigment so far. The formula is amazing. And I'm just going to do the same as what I did with that purple shade. So I'm just going to, but this time I'm going to do small circular motions just to diffuse the edges. Now taking a fluffier brush, which is my Morphe M441 brush. And I'm going to dip into Monte Carlo, which is that pastel pink shade. Just so I can blend out the hot pink shade, just so there's a seamless blend. Going back in with that previous Morphe brush, I'm going to dip back into Bahamas just so I can add that pigment back because we lost it a little bit with the blending process. And I'm just going to blend that back out with my big fluffy brush. Then going back in with K I honestly don't know how to pronounce this. I'm going to say Canes. Even though there's two ends in it, so it might be like Canis. I'm really not sure. But I'm gonna pop that back in the crease. And I'm kind of trying to blend it out into my outer corner. Like trying to make a triangle type thing. You guys, I'm the worst at explaining things. It's literally so bad. Going back in with Bahamas, I'm gonna put that above the canes. Just so you can see that hot pink show through. And now using that big blending brush just to blend out any harsh lines. Now taking my Morphe M506 shade, I'm thinking about taking Palm, which is that dark brown shade, just so I can deepen my crease in my outer corner. With the shade Palm, there is quite a bit of fallout, but that's completely normal. I'm gonna let the palettes do that, but just letting you guys know, just in case if you hate fallout or anything. But every other shade has been pretty good so far. Going back in with Canes, I'm just gonna use that to bring the purple back into the look. I'm kind of just following the outline of that shape we've created. I'm going in with Bahamas to try and blend out that shade and try and blend out canes. Then taking that big fluffy brush, I'm going to dip into Monte Carlo and blend that out. Now taking this flat smudge out angled brush, I'm just going to take some more of my P. Louise base and I'm going to use this brush to cut my crease. I'm now going to dip into seashells which is that aqua, which is that aqua foil shade. Oh my god guys, this is me using the brush dry. Can you see how pigmented that is? Oh my god, I think that's like the most pigmented like, shimmer, bl shimmer blue shade I've ever used. I can't want to dip into another shade, I might dip into Mediterranean, which is like 
that off. It's like a grey undertone blue shade. And I'm just going to flip the brush and put that in my inner corner. Which she's like that inner corner portion of my eye. Now going back in with canes, I'm just going to blend that in so there's no harsh line with seashells. Now going back in with palm, I'm just going to use that to darken the outer corner of my eye. And just for like a little bit of the inner corner highlight, I'm going to dip into inherence and put it right in my inner corner. You guys, I think this is my favourite palette from Anastasia. The pigment is just amazing, it blends out amazing, I'm in love with the colours. Oh, it's just amazing. So I'm thinking I might finish off my other eye off camera and do my whole face off camera as well as I want to keep this to just the palette review. So I don't really want to focus on anything else. But yeah, I'll be back in one moment and I'll be back with my review. So I am back with the finished product. You guys, I am obsessed with this palette. It's absolutely amazing. I find if you want a really good application of the eyeshadow, do your base all the way out. Because when I did my base on this side, I didn't really put it all the way out so it was a bit patchy. But in this eye, it looks a lot more better. I'm absolutely obsessed with how it came out. Blends like a dream. All the colors work perfectly together and I'm just so happy with the end result. This definitely has to be one of my favorite colorful palettes I've gotten this year besides the James Charles palette. I am just obsessed. I reckon if you guys want a nice high-end colorful palette, then this is definitely the way to go. It's absolutely perfect. And I reckon it's pretty good for traveling as well because even if you want to do more of a neutral eye, they've still got some like brown neutral tones. You don't always have to go for the color. But I reckon it's just really good for the price and you get a lot of shades out of it and there's not much kit back in the pan either, which is amazing. But if you liked watching this week's video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what was your favourite bit about this video. And subscribe down below if you want to become part of the Beauty Babe family. I love seeing the family expand. And hit the notification bell if you want to be notified next time I upload. I've got a lot of video ideas in my head right now. So I'll be uploading a lot more than I usually do. So have a lovely week guys and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye guys.